Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So right now, we're going to create a video uh, about our experience traveling uh, to San Francisco Airport. So we're going to share uh, what are uh, health and safety uh, measures that we implement sa loob ng airport. And also we're going to show you what's the experience of traveling, uh, I mean domestic travel during this pandemic. If you wanna know more, please continue watching. Bye. Okay guys, we're on our way to San Francisco uh, International Airport, so uh, we're planning to travel through plane, of course, going to New Jersey. So right now, we uh, travel kami like a uh, hours drive, it's like 140 miles. So ayan, pakita ko sa inyo ang daan dito sa... California, gano ka dami ang mga sasakyan at gano ka pipilis mag drive mga tao dito of course uh, we need to uh, be on a safe speed mode mga posted limit kailangan mo i-follow yun so here sa California um, usually kapag nasa ano na, freeway ang speed na minimum is nasa 65 and then you need, just need to uh, add like 10, 10 miles. So, ang magiging uh, max mo lang dapat. Hindi ka bababa, ay di ka tataas ng 75. Minsan pasaway ako, ang madali, minsan mabot ako agenda. Pero dapat be aware of your speed kasi pag hindi, hulihin ka. Ayan, so papakita ko sa inyo ang... Alright guys, keep on watching! So from here, we will leave tayo going to San Francisco Airport. Kasi uh, before, may mga shuttle din sa libre sakay from hotel to airport. But because of the pandemic, they'll spend na nila for safety measure. Ayan. So after natin pumunta sa may harapan, bubuk tayo ng lift. Before our flight, I mean, we made sure that we have a guest party permit reservation uh, that would last for 7 days before we go back. And we need to display this on our car. Since it's still pandemic, so hotel suspended some shuttle bus going to the airport. So we need to make some alternative. So we decided just to book a lift and uh, drove all the way to the airport. And it only cost us like Fourteen dollars, and it's more na yon sa oras na yon because usually during rush hour, like six p.m. onwards, it can 
range like 30 to 40 dollars ganun ka mahal kasi San Francisco mahal ang cost of living dyan. So before kayo bumiyahe papuntang San Francisco International Airport, you need to make sure kung anong terminal na pupuntahan nyo because ang San Francisco International Airport may apat na terminal. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Ang ikaapat na terminal, yun ang international. And 1, 2, 3 are domestics. Since JetBlue ay nasa Terminal 1, ito ang aming stop. So we make sure we are also early. Usually sa mga travel namin, meron kami mga allotted na 3 to 4 hours before our flight departure. Right now, Meron pa kami mga less than 5 hours, so we're still early. So ngayon, papasok na kami sa loob and we need to look for kios where we can do our check-in. 24 hours before our flight departure, uh, we did an online check-in through the app. It's an optional kung gusto mo ulit mag-check-in sa kios, but I still recommend for you guys to print your boarding pass. And also, kung meron kang luggage, you need to print for your luggage uh, label tag. So just need for your confirmation number or last name and then the case machine will just pull up all the information about your flight details and now you can have an option to print ano yung gusto mong print and also for your sitting uh, seats kung wala ka pa pwede mo na rin gawin dito sa case machine So to print natin ang ating uh, luggage label and our boarding pass Ang kagandahan lang sa boarding pass maganda yung uh, barcode niya and also, just in case pag nawala ang cellphone mo or nasira before waiting for a flight, at least meron kang backup. Right? And also, ang uh, yung tag labels na to, na didikit natin sa luggage, just wanna make sure na natatakpan yung mga old labels na meron or tanggalin nyo kung di pwede. Overlap nyo na lang. And if you wanna know more about kung ano mga pwede at hindi pwede dalhin, sa luggage just visit the TSA website so after that pwede na natin dalhin sa check-in counter this just also uh, uh, you, you need to know before you go bag drop closes 14 minutes before domestic and 16 minutes before your international flights so hingin nila sa check-in ng iyong uh, government ID pag domestic driver's license pwede na and then your boarding pass and then since nag avail kami ng backpackers we're not allowed to have our hand carry personal items is fine backpack is fine as long as magkasya sa sa ilalim ng upuan and also for our luggage ang max requirement na kailangan namin meet is 50 pounds kung magpas kami niyan we need to pay an extra charge so ang charge sa amin is 2 way na nasa 60 dollars not bad So, ayan. So, after mo maway, which is, uh, ayan, 48.5, pasok siya sa requirement. Pag once na pasok na sa loob na aeroplano, yung bag makakareceive ka ng status, your check bag had been put on the plane. And after that, papasok na tayo sa TSA. Once you've checked in and handed over your luggage, it will be the time to go through the airport security. Signs will indicate where the entrance to departure holds. They will ask for your identification and also for your boarding pass and they will ask you to remove your mask to make sure you are the person in that ID. And after that, uh, other, the airport security will be required to pass your hand luggage through an extra machine where will it be checked for dangerous goods. The officers may ask to inspect you for any strange and unusual items on your luggage. People traveling with laptop and computers are required to remove from them from any bags and put them through the extra separately. Okay guys, nakapasok na kami sa departure area. So, medyo nakatagalan na kami sa TSA. <laughs> because very thorough sila. So, dapat wala kang suot na sapatos, sombrero, jacket. Ayan, papakita ko sa inyo, Mag malayuan yung TSP. So look at that, so ganang restrict sila. So yan, may machine dito, matatawag nila Lados, body check. Since airport security has liquid restrictions that each passenger should only bring 
less than 100 ml for each item, we make sure we follow the rules and regulations. And after entering the airport security, you can already refill your water bottle with some available water refilling stations around. And basically, the restaurant na open. And so right now, we are looking for Goldilocks. Nasa B18 daw. <laughs> Ayan, B18. Hanapin natin. Ilay, 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 lakari. So, maniwala kayo sa hindi. May Goldilocks sa San Francisco Airport. International Airport. Sustal ka, oh. Uy, subukan natin ito. Para ka ignorante. Dahil may 4 hours waiting time pa kami, tara, kain muna tayo. Ano yung mga entry natin? Big Caldereta, Chicken Curry. Hi, Magalay Kati. Hello po. Um, isang 3 entry. 3 entry. Anong gusto nyo po, Grace? Steam rice or garlic fried rice? Pwede yung pansit bin. Ah? Yeah, pwede po. Gusto okay. mo half, half noodles? Yeah. Okay lang half noodles, half rice? Okay, yeah. sige po. Garlic po. Garlic. Garlic, garlic po. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yung entry nyo po. Okay. Um, Okay, isang ito po, beef caldereta. May kapit po, may $2 extra. Okay lang po. Ay, gusto mo. Ay, palitan natin. <laughs> Alin po yung walang ano extra? Ayun. Ah, yeah. ah okay, sige. Chicken curry. You said tsaka veggie. Beef and broccoli. Okay, sige. One, two, and... Yung lumpia, kasama po sa entry. Side yung Ah, okay. So, ah, automatic. Okay. Ito po? Yes po. And then, isang gulay. Isang gulay. Eh, isang gulay. Anong gulay, beef? Gulay ito na lang po. Oh, sige po. Ito na lang po. Pure. Thank you. Ay, may aris ka doon. Saka anong piyasay? Opo. Ah, may, may ukoy. Or, ukoy. Ukoy. Ukoy na lang po. Yeah. Salamat. Ayan po. Okay guys, so kakain na kami ng aming lunch and dinner, same time. So para makatagot kami. <laughs> sa meal na lang, kasi marami naman. Yeah. This one is, so meron tayong garlic rice, half pancit, bukoy. Meron din tayong chicken curry, chicken curry and adobo. And veggie. veggie. So a total of, how much is this? 13 plus 13, dollars Plus tax, 16 dollars. So 16 dollars, yun ito na po, dito sa airport. So, kung gusto niyo pong bisitahin ang Goldilocks, ayan po siya. Goldilocks, uh, my uh, gate B18. Ayan guys, B18, San Francisco International Airport. Goldilocks, Lupong Pinoy, authentic. Ayan, kain pa tayo. Okay guys, nandito tayo ngayon sa San Francisco International Airport. Oh, papakita ko sa inyo isa sa magandang feature dito. Meron silang men's restroom, female restroom, and for all gender restroom. Ganyan sila ka neutral. And ito pa. Meron silang animal relief area. Alright, uh, pet friendly airport. Hindi natin ang naman na sa loob. Ayan, right? So, dito, ang tsura niya. So, kung may aso kayo, pwede nila din dito. Para mga aso. Properly wear a facial covering. Another break. 
The airports have clear signage indicating where the gates are, but if you feel overwhelmed or get lost, make sure to ask someone for directions. Boarding for your flight will close 15 minutes before the flight departs, and if you miss this cutoff, you will miss your flight, even if you can still see the aircraft through the window, so make sure to be at the gates on time. Boarding gates are identified by a letter and a number. For example, A18. This will be printed on your boarding pass. If you check in online, there will be no boarding gate reflected on your boarding pass, and you will have to consult the informational monitors at the airport. Please note that while in seldom happens, boarding gates can be changed, so it's very important that you keep an eye at the informational boards. Okay guys, nandito na kami ngayon sa aming departure gate. So right now, um, tahimik. Nakakayang magingay. So, I'll try my best magsalita na hindi masyadong maingay. So, ayan. Pinan lang po kadami ang tao pa yan dito. Ilan lang kami. So proud because dahil masyado pong maaga. Ang departure time namin is 9pm. Uh, time check, 6pm. So, probably, yung ibang mga pasahero is punta pa lang. Ayan pa siya. Itong aming gate. Very, ah, mga bilang ganyan yung mga tao. Look. Look, ito tayo. Ito ang airport. Look at airport. Maganda dito sa San Francisco International Airport. Ito na sila mga USB port. Pwede ka mag-charge. All right. Okay. Tay mo na tayo. Pahinga. Okay, guys. See ya. Once boarding begins, you need to scan your boarding pass before boarding. Your boarding closes 15 minutes before your flight departs. Make sure you know where your gate is. Have your ID handy when you board. Check that the number reflected on the screen above the boarding gate is the same as the flight number on your boarding pass. Feel free to ask to any staff for any questions. Once you get to the aircraft, you will be greeted by one of the friendly cabin crew. They will then direct you to your allocated seat. Make sure to put all your belongings in the overhead bins or under the seat in front of you. Settle into your seat and put your seat belt on and then sit back and relax. The flight crew will take it from there. During travel, wearing a mask over your nose and mouth is required on planes. Follow all state and local recommendations and requirements including mask wearing and social distancing. On arrival, you will be invited to disembark the aircraft. Make sure to take all your personal belongings with you and head for the exit. Once inside the terminal, follow the signs to the luggage carousels where you can collect any check-in luggage you may have. Once you've got your bags, you can proceed through the exit into the main terminal. We hope that this video has been helpful. Okay guys, before ending this video, I want to announce the lucky winners of my raffle giveaway of $20 sa aking uh, vlog about sa aking, uh, First, uh, house property dito sa US. Siya po ay si Miss Esther Ruti Fiesta. Congratulations po ma'am. Please directly PM me on my FB account and I will directly send you your prize. And also pa shout out kay China Reyes, isa siyang third year metric student sa Pilipinas. Good luck sa studies mo. I hope to see you soon here in USA too. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Please keep on watching on my other vlogs. Thank you and God bless. Ako ulit si Jin Kaloy, ang inyong Pinoy Wanderer. Bye.